Hi guys, it's Jackie. We're together alone at home, but we can still stay fit. For this half hour, you're gonna need some weights, a chair, rolled up towel, in lieu of weights, if you don't have weights at home, I'm gonna be doing two water bottles. Most of us have that. You can also use some cans of soup. So grab a chair, your water bottles, a rolled up hand towel, and we be, we'll begin in a few minutes. I miss you all so much, but we have to stay safe and take the time that we, extra time that most of us have to stay and get fit. So we're gonna begin by standing behind our chair. There goes my towel. And we hold on to the back of the chair and we go side to side. And come in a little closer, side to side. Just loosening up the hips. We've all been probably sitting a little more than usual during this time. So it's really important to stretch and stay loose, as loose as possible. Okay, now we're going to add our shoulders, shoulder rolls. Ooh, might really need it. And let's get our elbows coming up. Bigger range of motion, still short lever. Since I'm moving, I won't be typing any answers. Now let's go do our breaststroke. I won't be typing any answers, but I'll get to it when we stop the video, when the half hour is over. I would love if I could see your faces too. <laughs> bigger arms, bigger breaststroke. Using those upper back muscles. Now I'm gonna do backstroke. This is my range of motion, but you respect yours. You could be here. And we bend the knees. As we start to warm up, we go farther and farther. Couple more. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. We're going to hold on to the back of the chair. Make sure our feet are hip distance or wider apart. About shoulder distance is good. And we tuck the tailbone, push it back. Scoop it under, push it back. We're loosening up our lower back. It's very important. The knees are soft. Scoop it under, press it back. Under and back, under and back. One more, under and back. And let's go side to side. We did some side to side, east and west. Now we walk a little closer to the chair so we're tall over our tailbone front. We're gonna make a diamond. We're going counterclockwise. Front, side, back to the side. Front, side, back, to the side. Here you want to make sure your ribs aren't moving. This chair is a little high for me. The smallest one I have. And now we make full circles. If you want to check that your ribs aren't moving, you're just moving from the tailbone, you can touch your rib cage. Six, seven, eight. Now we're going to go the other way. Corners first, front. So we're going clockwise, front, left, back, right, front, back, back. And I don't want my ribs to be moving, my shoulders are relaxed. Getting each corner of that diamond. And now we can do our full circles. No corners, so it's going to be smaller for you to make full circles, especially north and south. 
That's the most important. Very nice. Shake it out. Now we're going to step back in our chair and we're going to do some heel pumps. Toes stay down. Set the watch so I get credit for this. That's the way I know we're doing big enough moves too. Eight, nine, ten. Good. Step forward with your right foot. Stick it under the chair or close to it. The left leg stays in a straight line. We bend the front knee and belly button toward the chair. Press that heel down and back to get a nice calf stretch and breathe. Nice deep breaths. One more. And now you're going to bend that back knee slightly without lifting your heel. Keep the heel down and we press. Press that heel back as we bend the knee, shifting forward as that calf muscle lengthens. One more deep breath. Then lift the toes, lift, lift your heel up so you're on your toes. Curl your tailbone up toward the chair. Sink down a bit by bending that front knee. We want to open up the front of that left hip. Couple breaths here. Then we come up on the toes, lift up higher, scoop your tailbone under again, the hips scoop under, and we swivel that heel side to side. And then one hand on the chair for balance. We lift the knee up to the chest. You can be in front of the knee or if that's uncomfortable, behind it. And you want to just move your toes. One way, circling that ankle and loosening up. And the other way, circling that ankle and loosening up. Back to our pumping. Now that we're getting a little loosened up, do you feel a difference between the side you just stretched and the other? The other side feels like it needs the attention, right? Keep pumping. We're starting to get our heart rates up, starting to warm up and finishing our stretches. So now our right foot's going to go under the our left foot's going to go under the chair. Right heel and toe line up behind you, bending the front knee, belly button toward the chair. And we make sure that foot that's on the floor is in a straight line, not turned out or turned in. I had to check mine. Bend forward, belly button toward the chair. Deep breath in, exhale. Calves are another thing. If we're not doing a lot of walking or we're sitting more, it can get really tight. And then next big breath. And as we exhale, we bend the knee, keep the heel down. Shifting the belly button forward, but that heel stays down. We bend the knee. Another two deep breaths. Nice. Now we're going to lift up on the ball of the foot and the toes so that we lift the heel, curling the hips up toward the chair, bend that front knee, and sink down to open up the front of this other hip. And we hold it for a few breaths. Deep breath. Nice. Opening up the front of that hip that gets so tight when we sit too much. And come on up. Onto the toes. We curl the tailbone under even more and swivel that heel side to side on your toe. Big toe. Keeping the hips tucked. Good. Then lift the knee. Again, behind the knee or in front. And we circle the toes. One way, and circling the other way. Great. Big breath in. And coming up. One more. Great. I'm going to move my chair back. You're always welcome to stay with the chair in front of you if you need to touch it. And we're going to start by some toe tapping. Tap, tap. 
So we bend the knees when our both feet are on the floor and tap out with the toes. Tap your toes. Four more. Four, three, two. To the side. Tap. Bend the knees and tap. I want the heads going up and down. We'll add the arms. And tap back. Straight back. You can add the arms here. It's a good place. To the front, we brush it back. Bend the knees and tap. Elbows to the side, tap out. Bend both knees. One foot stays still on the floor. So these are tap outs, not steps. Go back, eight, seven, four more. Straight arms to the side. are in the way. To the front, double, double on the right, double on the left. You got it. Getting warm to the elbows, double side, double side. Double tap back, tap. We're still bending that knee that's still. Straight arms to the side, double, double. Now we're going to go single side. Now we're going to touch the opposite, so opposite hips. So we're getting that rotation as we bend the knees and lift up to tap to the side. Now the arms across the chest. For those of you who know what song I usually look use for this. I will survive across. Over the head is optional. It's not good for your shoulders. You stay here and go around the hips. I will survive going back. To the side. Single taps to the front, four, four, the other side. Now we're getting more of a balance challenge, right? Again, front, other side, four, to the side, elbows, four, three, and left, again. I am definitely warm. Four to the back. Straight arms to the side, four. Singles to the side, switch it around. <laughs> Lost my feet. Those of you who know me know I do that a lot. Shoulder height. Especially since I haven't done it for a while, I guess my coordination has suffered a little. I need this. We all do. Back to shoulder height. And around the hips. Eight, seven, five, four, three, Two. To the back, singles, to the side, to the front, four, three, two, to the side, swing it around, hit the other hip. Across the chest. Last time for this rotations. You stay here or you can go over the head. Five, three, four. Cross the chest if you were up. Getting that full twist in the waist. 
and around the hips. Big breath in, coming up around the outside. Great job, grab a sip. Sip from one of my water bottles. Next, we're gonna do a little kick and punch. That's an easy one to do. If you're ready to be sitting and doing this in your chair, go right ahead. If you're still, if your legs are still able, or if you still want to, you should be doing this standing. So we put up our blockers and we march. Right, 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 that's it. I wish I could see you guys. Let's add our punch or add our kick, and then we'll add the punch. I'm rushing it. Now we add our kick. Opposite arm to leg, always. One, two, three. One, two, three. Up to the chest level. Keep those blockers up. It's nice, I can watch myself. Up to the nose, a little higher. And you want a sharp pull back, and we always lift with our knee first. Back to the chest. Belly button. Shoulder blades stay together on your back. They're locked in. Back to the chest height. Hands at the belly button. We use that lower abs below the belly button to lift the knee. So the hands stay at the belly button. They don't go down to reach the knee. We get the knee up here. Nice. Let's hold the elbows to twist. A little more rotation. We want the whole chest and shoulder girdle to twist and the knee goes across the front in the opposite direction. Straight down again. One, two, three, and lift. Big exhale when you lift that knee. That helps your abs, especially the lower ones, engage. And hands up, we're gonna march. Shoulders back, making sure we block with our forearms. Here we go with the kicks. Now add your punch. Again, if you're ready, you go ahead and do this sitting down. And you can choose arms or legs or both. When you get tired, rest the arms, or when you get tired, rest the legs and still do the arms. Nose, and we want a sharp spring back. Chest. Down to the belly button. Four more, four, three, two, and one. Hands to the belly button. One, two, three, four. Lift with the exhale. Keep the hands as low as you need, so you're, but you're not lowering your hands to the leg. Hold the elbows, twist. You want the whole chest and shoulder girdle to follow, looking over that shoulder so you're not craning your neck. Two more. Back to straight down. Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, big breath in. Breathe, grab a sit, and now we're going to stand in back of our chair for some deep leg work. You can do as low as you can go. Feet should be shoulder width apart, as wide as your chair. And we make sure our toes are turned out a little bit, but not farther than they can be so that our knees don't face each other and drop inside the big toe. 
So let's go. So we stand wide. Down, two, up, two, leaning back as if we're sliding down the wall behind us. Down, two, and up, two, shoulders are back, hands are resting if they need to be or relax. Down, two, up, two, down, two, up, two, two. Now we're going to go singles, down and up. Tailbone stays in neutral, so we're not tucking. Slow it down again. Down, two, we go a little lower to come up. Down, two, a little lower to come up. Down, lower to come up. Down, two, a little lower to come up. Up the tempo again, down and up. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to go down to the lowest point and slowly up. Down for the hold, slowly up, pressing into the outside edge of the foot and the heel so that those knees track over the center of your feet. Slowly up, two more like that, down. And we go triple slow up, down, triple slow up, up to tempo, down and up, down and up, down and up, two more. Good. We're going to pivot. We want to have the back heel lifted, so these are split squats. We want to imagine that our front toe is up against the wall. So our knee is going to hit the wall if it goes forward. We're dipping the back knee down. So we're gonna go down two, up two. Down two, staying nice and tall. If you, these are tough for you, stay in the center, stay facing your chair. Down two, up two, two, up two. Other side, switch, good. Down two, up two, down two, up two, down two, down two. Two more. Up two and come back to the center. Here's where we're going to do a little balance and then we have weights. So we hold on to the chair. We shift our weight, we bring our right foot in, shift our weight onto that right side, left toe on the floor, standing tall. Then we slide that foot up under the chair. If it needs to touch the chair, that's okay, or the knee, if you need a little more balance point. So since we lifted our left, that hand stays on the chair. Lift up through the chest, find a focal point, that always helps. See if you can lift. And we go back down. Other side. You should hold that longer. I just want to get some weights in while we have time. We need some stretching too. So soft knees, shoulders back. Shifting your weight. Lift that. Now your right foot up in front. That hand stays on the chair. The other hand comes off and a little back. As wide as you need it. One finger. If that helps, and up. Good. Grab those bottles or your weights. Grab a sip if you need it. I sure do. This is another portion that if your legs are now tired, especially after that, the leg work, you can sit down and do all the shoulder and arm work that we do sitting down. So now we're going to hold, get our weights or our water bottles, ends of them together. And so we're going to do two plies right, two back, with zip ups, four singles, four, three, two, 
One, same with elbows. Double step, double back, but we want to really be bending the knees. Four singles. Head should be going up and down. Elbows up, double, single, single. Double back, single, single. Elbows down, double, single, single. Double, single, single. Zip ups, single, single, double. Single, double. Elbows, single, single, double. My water bottle's making noise because I drank. Elbows up, double, double back. Four singles. Elbows down, double. Double back, four singles. And now we're just going to stand. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see me. The weights are up here in your waistband or back pocket or your bottles. You straighten the elbows all the way. Keep the chest lifted and open, drawing those shoulder blades back and down. Up, two, in, two. Up, two, in, two. Tricep kickbacks. Squeezing the back of the arm. Singles, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Another set of doubles. Into. Good. Shake them out. Let's put those weights aside. Now is the time to sit in our chair. I hope I don't go over. I'm trying not to. I don't know what's up next. Now we're going to sit in our chair. If you have a small ball, that's great. I'm. Most of us have hand towels, so I'm just going to use a roll-up hand towel. You could even roll up a dish towel or a washcloth. Got to go back. I'm going to put it right between the knees, squeezing that towel, and we're going to go to tapping our toes. We're sitting at the very front edge of that seat so we don't help our core by leaning on the back. So we have to still balance, right? 360 degrees. It's still working. Toes are down. We squeeze the towel. Hold the squeeze, tap the toes. So we're going to take our, our ball or your rolled up washcloth and we're going to tap the right half a rainbow, big stretch up to the ceiling. If you don't have your towel with you, you can just clasp your fingers. Other side, tap and lift, tap, and lift, tap, get a big stretch down the side. And now we're going to take it here. You can interlace your fingers, or if you have a ball, elbows up, shoulders back, and we're pressing in. And we can still tap our toes, waking up those, the front of the shin muscles. Tap, straight elbows lift up. So we're making a capital M. Capital M. Straight up and straight down. One more time. And then if you're holding onto your towel or even with your fingers interlace, which would look like that, in and out. Pull it into your chest, roll your thumbs down and your thumbs over. Thumbs down, thumbs over, thumbs down, thumbs over, thumbs down, thumbs over. Great job. You can place the towel aside. We're gonna to do some finger stretching. This is really important. So we're widening. We're still at the front corner of our chair, widening our fingers. Unless you have a ball and you want to be pressing your abs in, but we can still engage while we do this. So big breath in, 
As you exhale, without curling that tailbone under at all, staying on your sitting bones, we draw in from below the belly button. Stretching the thumb, touch tips of the thumb, tips to index finger, and open, middle, and stretch open. Ring finger, open. Pinky finger, open. Back to the ring finger, open. Middle, open. Index, open. Shake them out, and if you engage your abs, just let your belly fall. Big breath. We're gonna do one more time, but we're gonna go random. And if it's getting too easy for you, shut your eyes. If you do it with your eyes closed and you can still match all the fingers, then that's good coordination. And it's brain, brain work too, right? It helps our right and left brain talk to each other. All right, stretch them out. Thumb to middle finger and open. Pinky and open. Index finger and open. Ring finger and open. Back to the pinkies and open. Index finger and open and shake them out. Good job. Big breath in. This should, by the time we're sitting, our heart rates are starting to drop a little bit. And now we're going to do some stretching. If I move back a little, you'll be able to see better. So you're going to start taking your right foot out in front of you, toes up. Because of the, the Facebook feed, I, it's hard for me to see if you can see my toes. But we turn the toes up towards our nose and we sit up tall, shoulders back. We don't want to collapse in the chest, so we're bringing our belly button to reach the toes without collapsing that belly button toward the knee. We're reaching out. The other foot is in front for stability. Come back up, turn the toes out, and walk forward. We hinge forward at the hip and back up. Turn the toes in, hinging forward. Big breath. Then hug that knee up into the chest and circle one way, circle the other, and slide over. Slide over to the corner of the chair. You're going to pivot to that side. Take the opposite leg out behind you, toenails down. You have your chair for support. We tuck our tush under, tuck our hips, and reach up and over, if you can, with your arm. And then do a side bend. Back up for the second side. Second side out, toes up. Breathing deeply while we stretch. Sit back tall, turn the toes away. Hinging forward again with a straight spine. We're just rocking forward on our sitting bones, but our other foot is in front of us to keep us stable on the chair. Come back up, turn the toes in, hinging forward. And then back up. Hug that knee up into the chest, circle, circle the other way, and slide over to the corner of the chair and turn. Take your opposite leg out behind you, toenails, shoelaces down, holding onto the chair if you need to, if you can. Scoop your hips under, tuck that tailbone under. And if you can, with your shoulder, you reach up and over. And then do a side bend over the back. Come back up. We're going to interlace our fingers behind us on the chair. Come up and, and reach down and back, opening up the chest. Chin comes in, so you don't want to be doing this. You want to lengthen up like somebody has us from behind the ears, lifting our skull. Look to the right. Keep growing taller as you look to the left. One more each side. Boy, did my neck need this. And come back to center. Keep your nose right in the center, chin in, ear to shoulder. Keep reaching down and back with your hands to open the chest up and over. One more each side.
great. Take that right hand and walk it down the back of your neck. The other hand helps get the elbow back. We can do a little bit of a side bend here too. Deep breaths, stretching the back of the arm. Other side. Rotate that elbow back so our shoulder blade is sliding back and down. And then we do a side bend. Big breath in. And coming up around the outside. Extension chest to the ceiling. And give yourselves a big pat on the back and open the chest again. And another pat with the other arm on top. Give yourselves a hand. Thank you so much for joining me. Please stay safe and we'll be back together together soon.